Hey guys, it's Olivia. I'm back with my second video. My first is how to ask for a letter of recommendation. So go right into the College Express page and watch that one. But this video is going to be ideas on how to help others during the holidays. So let's get right into it. The idea is to host a food drive. So this is my personal favorite way to give back. My school actually hosted our second annual food drive this year. And it's so awesome to personally see the food helping people in your personal community, especially during the holidays, when that can be so important to families that you know, people that you're in class with even. And it doesn't have to be just at your school. You can do this at your church or with your sports team. You could even do this at your own. You can just ask local businesses if you can hang up posters and post on your social media and just asking people you know if they would like to donate food. And it's just a great way to give back during the holidays. So my second idea is for my other northerners out there is to help someone shovel their driveway. So we get a lot of snow up north sometimes and Troubling can be a lot of hassle and a lot of work and it's really hard or almost impossible for some people, especially elderly people or people with disabilities. They might be stuck in their house for days because they don't have someone to shovel or plow for them. And if you can lend a helping hand to those kind of people, they will absolutely appreciate it. Even someone that could shovel on their own, like I said, it is a hassle and I'm sure that they would genuinely appreciate your help if you went and shoveled or plowed. So my third idea is to help in your local community. So you can do this in so many ways. I think a lot of people aren't even aware of how many volunteer opportunities there are just in your city or your town. You can volunteer at a homeless shelter or soup kitchen. You can volunteer at your local elementary school or middle school. You can volunteer at your local church, local library. There's really so many ways to help in your community and you never know who to be helping and lending a hand they might really need it and that's so awesome during the holidays because it can be a really hard time of the year for some people and if you can lend that support that's just awesome so my fourth idea is to just help your family and help around your own house because your parents and your siblings i'm sure they put in lots of work to really make christmas special and it can be very stressful and a lot of work and just helping wrap presents or helping mom or dad cook dinner or whatever it is, just helping around the house and helping your family out with even just the littlest of tasks can really make a big difference in their day and in their week, even their whole holiday season. Because like I said, it is super stressful and just letting a little bit of that load off of them can really be beneficial. My fifth and final tip is really just to spread kindness. Whatever it is that you can do to brighten up someone else's day is such a great way to help others during the holiday season. Like I said before, it is so stressful and just that little bit of kindness and happiness could really make someone's day. Whether that's holding the door for someone or even just smiling at them, helping them carry their groceries, it really is such a great way to get in the holiday spirit for you and others and just spread holiday cheer. That's all for this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season. I wish you and your family the absolute best. I hope you guys enjoy quality time together and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.